the interesting thing about Daytona Beach Shores is we have very, this is a very, very safe city. Uh, I've lived in big cities my whole life pretty much. This is an extremely safe city. One of the main reasons that it is so safe is that because of the way we do business here with my officers being the police and fire agency is that I have twice as many people on patrol as I would normally have if it was just a police department which gives us a tremendous reputation throughout the area for being a city where if you're going to do something bad you're going to see a policeman you better be very careful so consequently our crime rate is very very low I live here my wife walks around any time day or night and in this day and age being able to freely walk the streets as a citizen at any time is a very, very secure feeling. I came here in May of 1998. I was born in Canada. I spent uh, my youth there. I went to school and college in Miami, Florida, and I spent my first career in Miami. The one thing in my 11 years of being here is that I found Daytona Beach Shores has always been a city that really cares about the employees of the city. And as a whole, my employees understand that they're recognized and appreciated. They like doing a good job. They like coming to work here. This is not an organization that has ever treated its employees like a number or just somebody that fills a slot. People that are watching this, I'd like them to understand how good Daytona Beach Shores treated its employees. We moved into this building in 2006. This building has allowed me to operate as a professional public safety department. Prior to this, we were all cramped into uh, very, very small quarters, very antiquated. Every time we would try to do something with different with computers or telephones or whatever, it, it involved a tremendous amount of infrastructure being changed around. This is allowing us to, to really expand our thoughts as to how to deliver police service, public safety service. Communication is, is really the key to good police work. And uh, the better the communication is, the, the better we're, we're, uh, we're going to be able to fight crime. We have 35 sworn positions and I have about 15 part-time officers. Because we're a public safety department, my officers are both policemen and firemen at the same time. They're also either an emergency medical technician or paramedics. Uh, Daytona Beach Shores offers a one-size-fits-all program where when a citizen calls 911, whether they need police, fire, or rescue, they're going to get that response. Central Dispatch was pretty much a dream of mine when I first came here. And what it does is it allows everybody that's in the area of the, that the county is dispatching to understand what's going on around them because crime and criminals don't operate in a vacuum. So rather than the time it takes for someone to use a landline to call another agency or even to get on the radio, we can hear what's going on. And when one of my officers stops somebody that's been causing trouble in another area of the county, somebody else picks up on that. And through the computers and the dispatch, it makes the citizens have a much, much more chance of having the crime solved or, or crime stopped before it starts than with just a, a local dispatch. It just gives you a much greater area to deal with. Uh, we're always looking at new technology. We started about four or five years ago uh, using tasers what we call less lethal armament. Rather than having to shoot somebody, we've been able to use these, these electric shock uh, guns and they, they've saved lives both officer-wise and save a lot of injuries. There's a lot more of that coming down the road. Police foundations everywhere are trying to make it so that we can take people into custody with less harm to everybody. And these less lethal weapons are, are starting to, to really advance. Majority of our calls for service here are minor police incidents, uh, burglaries, traffic stops, uh, domestic disputes. We get a tremendous amount of rescue calls here. Unfortunately, people get sick and they, call, and they call us. In a year's time, we probably handle about 12 to 1400 rescue calls and about maybe 1500 fire calls. The 1500 fire calls are, are the vast majority of those are alarms. We have every type of situation that goes on here just like it does in a big city. Some of the changes that I foresee in, uh, in policing, and we've started to see it here. For example, all my, all my entry systems in this building are fingerprint controlled. Um, I expect to see retina scans in the future, voice recognition to open doors. Um, 
I expect to see much more fraud uh, protection systems put in place once it becomes cheap enough for the credit card companies to really buy these systems. Daytona Beach Shores gets a tremendous bang for their buck in the, in the policing and, and rescue field. And I'm hoping that as time goes on and that the taxpayers still support this like they do now. I do see that, that the policing and the rescue part has to be protected in the shores if they want to keep, if the citizens want to keep the service level that they have. People move here because of the way we do business. And uh, the shore is a wonderful place to live.